Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Buzz Weaver, and today I want to discuss some of the items that you have been seeing lately on the channel where I have moved from going from gaming into maybe supplement reviews and then into content creator information while shifting over to Dragon Con. Now, when I originally made the channel, the idea here was to cover multiple degrees of topics because as an eccentric personality, I like a lot of different things. And I was hoping that as I were to cover these different elements and themes and or genres, I could still keep and maintain an audience that would still get their particular content. So how I got started was I had just finished firearm training school and I got in touch with my instructor as well as the owner of the gun range store and training facility to see if I could incorporate my interest in firearms as well as within gaming and then present a program where I introduced the real-life weapons of Battlefield 3. It was a great community. The Battlefield 3 community welcomed me into their game, and it was a lot of fun covering it. A lot of interest, a lot of questions, so I had a lot of fun helping people, instructing people, and outlining to people what the real-life weapons were about and how they were incorporated into games, tactics, and strategies of that nature. So at that point, once I had that particular audience, I wanted to introduce peripherals, for example, mice, headsets, other items that would be part of what gamers would use to then incorporate those elements into the Battlefield 3 community. And then shortly after all of that, playing the game, recording, and being part of that community, I decided that I wanted to make a shift to nootropics or smart drugs. I had been talking to a lot of people in the community of smart drugs, as well as being part of forums and other areas, contacting my physician and other people to just kind of get an understanding of what smart drugs was about at that particular time as it was uh, mentioning a lot on college campuses. And I was just kind of interested in what all was taking place with those products. So around that point, I started going into more of the live recording. Like you see here, I'm not entirely set up for this type of format. This is just a webcam that you see me on right here. Of course, my studio microphone, which I do a lot of my recording on, which plays more of a key role. And I also have a T2i Canon, which you saw me shoot other live action type stuff, for example, at Dragon Con. So these were just kind of areas where I was kind of doing a little bit of experimentation to incorporate all of these particular interests that I had. Now, at the time, the channel was still growing, so I valued all my subscribers, and I wanted to provide all those subscribers with points of interest that they would like. Now... When I left the area of Battlefield, naturally a lot of those individuals left because if you're not covering a topic that your subscribers like or are interested in, then they're probably going to leave. Now, they didn't leave massively or in droves and such, but it shifted. But at the same time, I still wanted to stay in the gaming community, so then that's when I started introducing things like Landmark because at the time, SOE was going to be coming out with EverQuest Next, which is their flagship game. At that point, I decided that I would get involved in Landmark, develop a relationship with the community, develop a relationship with the developers, present the game, because I was an original Verant SOE Daybreak fan from the original EQ in 1999. During the course of covering Landmark, SOE was announcing a new game, a post-apocalyptic zombie survival game called H1Z1. At first, I wasn't entirely sure this was something that I wanted to cover. I didn't really have a particular interest in a post-apocalyptic game because I was focusing on EverQuest Next and staying within that community. So I would gotten a lot of feedback from my guildmates who are a big influence on what games I want to cover. And believe me, when something new comes out, they'll come to me and say, hey, have you considered covering this game or covering that game? So if you guys were thinking about how much I'm covering now, imagine if I shifted gears and started covering a lot of the things that they liked as well. So I appreciate their input. I appreciate everyone's input when it comes to what I cover on the channel. Naturally, that's gonna be part of what drives me to the content. So I decided that, okay, I'll cover H1Z1, I'll check it out because it is a daybreak game and it's a newer community for me to introduce myself to and become familiar with this side of daybreak. So as the channel was growing, an opportunity presented itself with Dragon Con, which takes place here every year in Atlanta since 1988. They just celebrated the 30th anniversary, as maybe some of you guys saw in the Dragon Con coverage that I had. 
So in 2014, I had a great opportunity to meet some of the team members, some of the community managers from SOE, Colette Murphy, Ted Stone from DC Universe. Great group of people. They were very welcoming. They allowed me to ask questions. I interacted with them. You may have seen that clip that I run sometimes occasionally in Landmark videos. I may have run it in H1Z1 video. But nonetheless, it was an opportunity for me to incorporate that environment, the sci-fi, tabletop, D&D, gaming environment, into the channel as well. So that's why I had started out covering Dragon Con at that particular point. As far as the channel is concerned, I do run it like a business. It is what I do full time. So several years ago, at my last job, I have a computer science background. I had the opportunity to work both in the PC world and in the Mac world. So while in the Mac world and being around a lot of these creative professionals, it really influenced me to take part in this video production being part of YouTube. So I wanted to incorporate my interest, which I've always had in movies and TV and production, directing, not so much in writing, but at least in that community. So when I was able to build this channel, it gave me an opportunity to use all of those interests into one. So hopefully I'm trying to bring all this stuff together for you so you can kind of get an idea as to why I have been approaching the channel the way that I have. It is not because it's an ADD thing and I'm trying to go in 50 different directions. It is because I'm trying to find ways to incorporate all of these particular ideas and concepts into one channel. Now, naturally, some YouTubers would split their channel up, but being a smaller channel, nearly at 3,000, most people probably don't start splitting their channels till they're maybe at 5,000 or maybe even 10,000 before they make the actual split. One of the major key things about building a channel like this is being part of communities, being part of the background to what you cover in front of YouTube. So there's kind of an element of PR, going through Twitter, going through Facebook, going through Reddit, going through gaming forums and fan sites and becoming part of that community as well as introducing oneself to these individuals, for example, like in H1Z1 with the guys from H1Z1 DB as well as the individuals from the stronghold. Now, it's important because it's part of the structure. It's part of what holds all of this together because without a good foundation, moving forward into projects can land you in some very difficult and awkward situations. Along that journey, I had an opportunity to also meet people in the community of YouTube. So back in May, if you guys look through some of the videos here, you'll see that in May, we had an opportunity to go to Google YouTube here in Atlanta, which was just amazing. And it was awesome to be able to meet fellow YouTubers. And they had a panel of very successful YouTubers who interacted with us, did a Q&A. Diara and Ken, Zabrina, and Glam Twins? The Glamour Twins, I believe, or Glam Twins. I apologize if I got that, if I didn't get that right. So these individuals kind of shared their journey with us but also within that crowd, there were also some very successful YouTubers. Now, there was an amazing amount of interest. You had vloggers, you had beauty channels, you had gaming channels, you had musicians. You had just an assortment of different groups of individuals. And it was just a really awesome experience as a YouTuber to be able to interact directly with the YouTube community members and learn more about it. And during that journey, I became part of or was already part of the YouTube content creator community. If you're a content creator right now, I would suggest you go to the YouTube content creator community and become part of that. It is amazing. You'll get all kinds of information about YouTube. You'll be able to interact with YouTube uh, management. You'll be able to interact with all the people that make up YouTube and other content creators. Along that journey as well, there was a wonderful invitation to become a rising star or top contributor. So, Two weeks ago, I had a meeting with an individual from the community, and it was just really amazing, invigorating, awesome to be part of and be included within the community of Google and YouTube. So that was another part that was really exciting about the channel, and that's why you're seeing a lot of those content creator how-to videos. We get to tying it all together. So it comes down to now the style and presentation of the channel. Now, as back in the Greeks time, how they presented drama, of course, was how they elicited their entertainment to evoke a certain emotion in people. Because really, when it comes down to entertainment, it's about emotion. Does it make you laugh? Does it make you cry? Does it make you mad? Does it elicit some sort of uh, 
enlightenment on whatever topic is being covered in some form of entertainment. So here on YouTube, it's going to vary by individual. There's all sorts of individuals that come to YouTube, whether it's gaming, whether it's beauty channels, whether it's, man, the interest on YouTube is just phenomenally diverse. So what you may have seen lately, and I'm kind of going off topic of what I'm discussing here on style, and that is there's kind of a flavor of the month sometimes when it comes to YouTube, like you'll have the challenge videos and the prank videos, and, and suddenly drama channels became really popular, and you had individuals kind of imitating individuals like Leafy and Scarce and Keemstar kind of thing, th th those kind of channels. And as part of the development, as part of me growing as a channel, I watch all kinds of different channels, all sorts of them, to kind of learn how these individuals interact with the community, what they present, their style. There's a lot of work behind this stuff. There really is. And if you've ever had an opportunity to try it, I would say give it a shot, see what you think, because what it's going to do is it's going to give you a greater appreciation for what you see these content creators make. When it comes to personal style, my presentation isn't necessarily one that may particularly interest certain groups of individuals. I try to be professional with my approach. That's typically how people describe the channel. I, I don't say that I actually go in with a mindset of being super professional because yeah, I, I want it to be lighthearted. I want it, I want it to, have, uh, you know, to be fun for people to watch the videos and not be some stringent school professor <laughs> dictatorial type thing. I want it to be fun for the environment. Now, granted, I know that people want to see funny videos when it comes to H1Z1, uh, the bugs, you know, what's going on with the game, but kind of like behind these kind of scenes, you know. And of course, everybody wants particular levels of opinion, dialogue. What do I think about the game? Well, you know, actually, what do I really think about the game? What do I think about the developers and that sort of thing? So, but I really try to keep it within that parameter, if you will. So I don't really like try to be too influential with myself, like what my particular interests are for the game. It's more of, let me share what I think about these games. Let me share what I think about these products or these peripherals or these interests that I have. Let me just kind of give you an idea of what they are. And then I let you guys decide, you know, what you think about them. You know, I want you guys to create and base your own opinions on this information. And of course, I don't necessarily think you guys are there and with a complete sense of I give you the directions and then you say, well, well, I like this or I don't like this. It's really about just like me and you having a conversation like right now on this on this uh, on this topic of the channel. And that is this is what I do. This is who I am. And it is important to me to be genuine. That is one thing that you are going to get from my work. It's going to be honest. It's going to be genuine and it's going to be researched. I am going to put a lot of dedication into each of my projects. This is why I don't just throw up a video about H1Z1 or Landmark or any other thing just to like fill space. You're never going to get that from me. I'm not going to make a video that is just there to fill space. The influence of the style comes from watching other YouTubers and thinking kind of to myself, well, how would I present that information? How would I go about articulating what they just discussed in a game? And so, or, or a product or anything really that I cover. Because it's, to me, it's about painting a picture of something with the idea of this is kind of what it looks like from my perspective. And just as an approach to that, this is how I kind of line up the channel. So, Again, it's not really about how I can make people laugh or how I can make people angry or create a controversial topic or, or anything like that. It's not an issue. I mean, I could do that. I certainly could cover other topics that would be controversial or maybe things that are funny. But the reality of it is it's the style is about presenting something or a topic that I like based upon a perspective of an individual that's a gamer, enjoys gaming, and would be communicating this to you guys just like I would with, say, a guildmate when we're in Mumble. Direction. Where is the channel going? And this is something that I really want to share with you guys because there's just a lot of opportunities right now when it comes to being part of the Google YouTube community. And that is when I was at the Creator Community event, 
There was a lot of creators that I met there, and these individuals have been asking me for quite some time since then to collaborate and do some things together, whether it's gaming or other things. I tried to find topics that we could cover. So say, for example, if I invite a beauty channel person onto the channel, then we would discuss certain things about you know what it's like to, to run that particular channel, what it's like for me to run the channel, or things and techniques that we may do and incorporate. And then, of course, there's vloggers, and there's other gamers, and there's just individuals out there that have similar interests. And then when I went to Dragon Con, I met some other YouTubers there as well who would also like to collaborate. So it's something I would like to do as, as part of the channel, and I don't really want to split you guys up. I don't want to split up the, the audience into different factions or groups because I want to be able to give you guys the same quality level of entertainment and enjoyment you guys get from when I cover H1Z1. And as far as gaming is concerned here as we as we're in that area, uh, I am looking forward to covering Civilization VI, which is a turn-based strategy game. I've always been a fan of Civilization for a long time. And to be able to bring that to the channel is going to be really a lot of fun. So what you can probably expect, and, and I would like to get some of your guys' feedback on this too, because I, I really do want to become more part of the community as far as like other YouTubers, you know, doing these collaborations and, and communicating with people and also helping people with their channel. Because again, not only is it about gaming, it's also about instruction and how-tos and, and, and getting an idea of what it's like to get into YouTube. Because this is what I do now. And you guys have been a huge part of the success of the channel. It has allowed me to do other areas of things. For example, join the affiliation with Amazon. At this time, I really don't have the, the volume of people to really get into sponsorships. So you guys have been a big part of that by participating on the channel. At least those who aren't running ad block. All right, as far as I'll go into that, okay? So now, of course, there are uh, options for individuals to donate to the channel. And I'm not going to openly uh, tell individuals to donate to the channel and so forth. I mean, it's really up to you guys. I mean, if you guys want to participate in that, it does help. I do appreciate it greatly when you guys participate at that level because it allows me to make purchases of products that I can cover on the channel, which I've not done a lot lately because the direction of the channel and things have gone into other directions and for other things for me to do. So being part of uh, the Amazon affiliate program was a lot of fun. It's interesting. And being part of any business will have its challenges. So you guys make a huge part of that possible. For example, how you guys help me is... For example, when I get my press passes, um, you know, the traffic, the volume, the what they call the distribution, how many people come to your channel, how many people. So if you guys are curious, I average about a thousand views a day on average. I average anywhere from two to six subscribers per day. So you guys are fantastic. You guys are sharing the content. You guys are telling your friends. You guys are being really, really active. And I'm really <laughs> happy that you guys are doing that. Thank you very much for doing that, really, honestly. It's something that I think YouTubers don't always go into because it's sometimes as YouTubers, we can get very preoccupied with our brand, with our product, you know, who we are, what we are. Let me show you this. Let me show you that. This is what I'm going to do today. And the audience kind of becomes a, a third party, a, kind of a voyeuristic standpoint. You know, oh, these people are watching me do this, and that's cool. But if it wasn't for the subscribers, if it wasn't for you guys, these channels would not continue to succeed because it is about what we do uh, as YouTubers to make sure that you guys stay engaged and that we are upfront with you guys and present who we are to you. And that's what I'm trying to do here as well. And that is to give you who I am, what I am about in the course of direction. Beginning to wrap all this up for you guys. So the direction is going to be, I do plan on pursuing Civilization VI. And I want to try to find some platform in which I can incorporate these other YouTubers. Now, people have been asking me about uh, Pantheon Rise of the Fallen game. And that's something that I've had there. You know, it's kind of, that's kind of been like the filler for EverQuest Next, that MMO style. Uh, Brad McQuaid, who was one of the original individuals from Verant back there with uh, Smedley. And so uh, I kind of I kind of want to present that game as well. So I'm just kind of curious how that's going to be. But uh, there's really not – well, there's certain things going on with that game right now, and it's just really not 
anything I can present to you other than what you've already seen with Pantheon. So that so Pantheon is kind of maybe a little bit further down the road. But for right now, um, I want to try to find a platform in which I can introduce these other YouTubers because I want to, you know, I like the YouTube community. I, I do. I, I like what you guys do as a community in the gaming environment and stuff. And I also like uh, the individuals in, in the YouTube community. So I want to kind of meld those together. And then there's occasional individuals that are that are still hanging in there, you know, from from my supplement reviews and and from uh, my how tos and peripheral reviews. And and I love to hear from the guys that that are having issues with Logitech or or their Razer products and stuff, and and getting engaged with those individuals and helping them. By producing videos on how they can fix these driver issues or other issues that they may be experiencing with the products so that's kind of how the channel kind of culminates that's kind of how everything kind of works hearing it from me directly so they're there for reasons i mean so and and people ask me about that obviously just recently someone was asking me hey buzz you know you're kind of going off in these other directions what's going on so I, hopefully i was able to, to to bring you guys uh include you guys into this into this process and again Thank you for everything you guys do to make all this possible. It's it's very exciting. It's very fun. I enjoy what I'm doing. And let me ask you this: uh, Do you like this this type of interaction right here? Because it just I feel very self conscious about doing this, as I like being behind the camera, not in front of it. But I just felt that you guys deserved this right here, this right now, because you needed to hear from me what I was doing, you know, what my mindset is, and I just you know I'm very enthusiastic about my channel. I'm very enthusiastic about how it's growing and where it's going and you know it, and you guys are a part of it so i felt it was necessary to include you guys in there so if you haven't already follow me on twitter subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you're a frequent visitor you hear me say that often and uh thank you guys for everything you do to make this all possible i appreciate it greatly